Hello, friend. Nice to meet you. And this is uh, Amit Chen from Union Storage Team. So today, <coughs> I would like to share to you about a new storage product. It's a NVMe that uh, in one new chassis. So before I uh, introduce about the new generation, so I want to say thank you for all the Facebook storage team. Because the things that uh, 60 years ago, uh, we engaged with the Facebook team for virtual and open role. And during the project, Prada is the Stars 6G product. And then we have a humming feature and uh, later and, and also lightning and rice canyon. So this is a very successful story for Miss Queen and uh, Facebook together. So today I just based on I think the, the, the translation of the data center of workload is, is a changing. So the fresh base storage is really uh, important for the basic application. So I just uh, over quick overview about the lightning product for you. It's a the lightning product is a to you 30 days so you got to go later. There are two drawers inside the chassis. Which you trace which you trade has the uh, 15 you got to and uh, we could change the uh, you got to uh, we can change the SSD carrier to be the two and that two so we can uh, install to be with 60 and that two still so we can choose the flexible various uh, SSD form factor for 77 millimeter width thickness or 15 thickness. And uh, what's, uh, so it's a modular design for easy maintenance. So we can trail out the whole, whole tray and service directly. And Ultra, is a, the performance is quite very good. It's a good IOPS and uh, low latency. So when we see the lightning front wheel, we heard about that. Yes, we heard about standard. So we uh, organize the demand from OCD, from OCD, from OCD, but also we from traditional uh, cloud service provider. It's a nine inch demand. So we just utilize the successful project from Lightning. We let you design and also test the validation to consolidate together for nine inch standard. We call that the SPG engine. So today, I would like to share to you about the standard. The key feature here is that this is a 1U per default bay. It's a UW form factor with two, uh, two, two by 16 Gen3 operating to different server. Okay, and uh, this is, uh, we have two power supply inside and also we have a five fan module, it's a four plus one. And the drawer, you can see that here, it's a drawer design, so we can trail out the upper U, so you can trail out and then we can service the drive. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's another application we support the Intel SD. So the flexible SSD resource assignment can be supported in this product. And as a system performance. Later on, so I will share to you about the standard the architecture and also the management ability. I will share to you about how to manage your system from software standpoint and also from technology standpoint. And then I will share to you about the performance data based on the real testing data. So this is a, the system application of standard. So in front we have two iron module. This is a by 16 by 16 the four by four Mr. HP connector in front. And also, we have the other iron module in real time, so that can allow us to to uh, change the cable routing in front or or front or 
in real time. You can choose either one. Here I'm the process is provided media. And this chess is we can trail out. When the trail out, we can see where is the drag plan going in, uh, in here. So the, the chip state in the in, in upper side is uh, U.2 SSD. And then we put the PCI switch chip <coughs> on button. That is the upside down design. And OK, that's the power supply here. We have one plus one power supply. And uh, 40, 50 states. Fan module, you have a five piece, it's a four plus one. And this area, you can see, sorry, you can see here is the fan control bowl. In this bowl, if it can stick a five fan module and two power supply, the cable here is the deliver the 12 volt power from FCB to Japanese bowl. So you can see this arm, this cable arm, this internal cable arm. We can we can lock we can tie all the cable together, including the power delivery from FCB and also from the PCI cable internal locking to this area. So we this is the cable arm design. So later I will share to you about the system block diagram. In this block diagram. Uh, we have two iron module. The iron module there is the RC45, and also we have the PCM system internal cable from the from IO uh, IOF module to the Japanese pole. So the the cable here we we are using about the uh, OQ link cable for internal <coughs> cable routing, and uh, this is the main. Pass here. So this is a drag and bolt. We have a two micro semi access switch here. And also we have a BNC for the whole enclosure management. So the internally we use the S uh, switch to manage the hard drive status, uh, SSD status and the temperature information for, for BNC. Also, we reserve the internal link between two PCI switch. We reserve by A, by A between two. So this is a system block diagram. So we based on that diagram to have the different kind of application. The first one is we we connect the server through the external cable, PCI cable. We have two cable routing. So the total bandwidth here is by, by 32. And this is for performance reason we want to have the better IRs and through good. So the other application here, so we we have two independent <coughs> server to connect to to the one side of the IOM module, the other one to the other IOM module. So during the case we utilize the internal by a channel. So we can as a server host one can access the SSD through the switch to the down switch and from the host two can access to the to the other side. So the total <coughs> total disk can be arrangement or do some uh, real resource assignment by the BNC. So this is a we will based on that for for real resource arrangement. Okay. For the management of the side, we from this the server side, we have the CPU. The CPU side, we use the we use the we use the stand cable from Lightning. So the cable we have the USB and I C seven signal inside. So host can access the the can access the switch status, the, the PCI switch status through the USB interface or SQC interface. And the NIC, we have the other RC45 for enclosure management as well. So outside, you can go through the RC45 channel to SSB, ENC. So this is the enclosure management. 
Also, we also support the uh, firmware update from host or from the remote side. So it's through the interface. DLC can access the switches through the uh, UR interface. Uh, the, the product here is a, is a very flexible for traditional 90-inch data center custom requirement. So we have the from we we have the we have two PCIe by system in front and these two is a two PCIe by system in the middle. We can based on the table routing requirement, we can we can route <coughs> different kind of the test. Okay, so this is from from the real, real, real side table routing. So now this we want to have the from access, we can utilize the uh, 19 inch so OCP server is from access. We, we can uh, install the existing PCI retainer card design server and use the traditional cable to to the standard periphery. Or we can use the traditional generic server from real side is put on the retainer card as well. We can through the PCI cable to connect to the standard periphery. So this is uh, allow us to uh, application this machine system to different kind of design uh, requirement. And later on, I will share to you about the, the, the real testing of our, our performance data. We will come. I will compare about the Zeba SAS hard disk and the Zeba. We we have the other SATA SSD. And compare the NVIDIA DP SSD global data. So later I will share to you about the G throughput and the LPS and the LPS per watt. So that means the price of CD value is the price per watt. Okay. So this is testing real testing data. So the the blue color here is hard disk. So we compare the, the second one is a SATA SSD. So this one is a NVMe ZBuff. So the, from the throughput standpoint, it's better. Uh, NVMe uh, result is a five times better than hardware testing result. And the LPS. We, we based on the 100 percent, 100 percent four K random random read and random value do the testing. So the data we, we measure that is uh, 854 times compared to the previous hard disk. So we based on the LPS data to to see, to check the system wattage performance. You can see the standard here is about five times compared to SATA SSD. So the performance ratio is pretty good. Total system power is about 450 watt. Okay. So just just show you a quick summary. So uh, we we use the stem uh, we, in order to service more CSV cluster provider under the other demand. We hear that and we with the same uh, lightning uh, EMA, so we, we leverage the, the design and the validation flow to do the system design for standard. And then the flexible PCI cable support for core IR or, or hard IR flexible cable routing demand. And the dual store for easy SSD maintenance. And we support the uh, power supply and the cooling design redundancy as well. For first, first of all, SSD resource arrangement, we can use it just like the uh, Intel SD. So this uh, demand can allow uh, server can uh, direct the allocation of the SSD redundancy. So excellent system performance. So we, we can recognize the, the, the throughput is around 20, 26 gigabytes per second, and the LPS is around 
4.6 million high ups. And the, the, the price performance ratio is pretty good. Okay. So this is my presentation today. So do you have any question want to discuss? So right now, I think the machine is ready right now. So it's the EVD phase. So we plan to uh, have the, the sample available in June time frame and plan to have the uh, production very soon. Yeah. What cable lengths do you support for the SVM? Okay. So you mean the external okay. or the external? So let me repeat the question just for what's the cable length that you plan to support? Yeah. Yeah. So, so the cabling, uh, we, we have two cabling. So, cable one cable is the internal cable. So, we we, use, we are using right now is the occluding cable. But for a system for for a MVM to server side, we are using this as HD cable right now. And we are planning to have the other version is with the uh, occluding. So we are we are surveying the other opportunity. So right now, so just use the stem uh, uh, retimer card from Lightning, so we use the uh, Nisa HD cable. Okay. So from what like cable length do you support the mini SAS HD? Yes. No, no, yes, what cable length do you support in the mini SAS? How long? How long a cable? How long? Okay. So right now it's the 1.5 one, one inch. Uh, so meter. Meter, yes. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. You show more than uh, double the performance for the the uh, NVMe SSD versus the SATA SSD. Is that bandwidth or is it more parallelism? And what's the reason you 5x instead of 2x? Okay, Let's go back. So you mentioned the, the throughput. Yeah. Yeah, because the the, the native of the native SSD behavior, the SATA SSD. The, 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 the throughput is around 500, 500 megabytes per second. So that's limited by the status. Yeah, it's the because it's a uh, the, the disk that we have here. So this uh, mm -hmm. latency thing is put together. So so this is uh, five five times compared to two times because the about there's uh, some protocol translating and all the behavior from the native disk behavior. Okay, thank you. Same capacity. Yes. So we use the one one point two terabyte for testing. Yeah. So you can see the chart here. The the data uh, we we can see that uh, the the the, the real uh, bandwidth here is a PCI by system is around is sixteen. Yeah, five per second, and our real testing is, is reached to thirteen gigabyte per second to so cross. Yeah. So, but the IOPS, I think we 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 did some testing before. So, uh, for read is uh, is good, but for write, if what we test 
almost uh, it's around 15 minutes so that the performance is better, right performance is better than real performance. But after we test uh, more than one hour or two hour, so <coughs> the right performance will, will become drop. So this is because the, the, the native of the SSD behind here so far. But the, the, the performance data here is depending on the capacity uh, uh, situation. So we have la larger uh, capacity, so the performance will become better. Any question? Yes. Uh, did you also record any latency numbers on the tests? Oh, for the test, uh, no. But I think the, the system latency we measure in Lightning, and this is very similar to in PCI and in this native switch. So the total the latency along the uh, uh, my microsecond label compared to the thickness of this different label. So it's a huge. Please. Okay, so the numbers that you provided earlier on the 4.6 million IOPS and the gigabit uh, per second for 26, that was what, just 10 drives? So you mentioned. Or was it the entire closure? So this is only 12 drives. We, we manage our 12, uh, uh, yeah, in the one, one switch. So for a two switch, we are able to choose. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Any question? So I think it just uh, remind to you this is a very good good uh, example for for we win as well. So we utilize the uh, very successful lightning product, and we, we hear everybody's demand. So we we, we we design and we form factor based on the crew design concept to to win product. So we will do more project based on this is this uh, scenario again. So this is a very good start from here. Okay. Thank you for your joining us.